every once in a while we're going to come across situations where we have a fraction like a, like this one and so the very first step before we start the process is to make the numerator into a one if possible so first try to divide the fraction if if it's doable in this case it's not doable we cannot divide anything so the next step is to get rid of the three since the three is on top i'm just gonna like sort of slide it over it's gonna stay on top technically but you know now the top is empty and i have x plus five dx off to the side so usually when we do this we just kind of like either slide the dx to the numerator or if you don't want to slide it you can put an empty place holder which is a one so you can either put the dx on top or you can put a one it's up to you but now, now that we've done this we have to make a decision on what the u should be so what should the u of this problem be and the choice is this for fractions usually the u has to be chosen as the denominator so if you have a fraction the u should be the denominator so in this problem the u must be chosen as x plus five and let's see i want the derivative but like i said i'm going to combine step number two and step number three together instead of writing du over dx i'm going to write down the d over here and i'm going to write the dx right away onto the end and all i'm going to do is look for the derivative of x plus five what's the derivative of x that's a one what about the derivative of five well, that's zero. So it's just basically one at the end. So derivative of x plus five is a one. Great. Now this is my table and it's finished. So here we go. We're gonna now write the three on the outside. That's gonna stay there forever. We're gonna write the integral. There's gonna be a fraction, but let's see. According to the little chart that we made, anytime we see the numbers one and dx together, anytime we see those two terms, we erase them and there we write du. So anytime we see the one and the dx, we grab them by hand and we replace them with the variables du. Okay, so that's good, that's done. What about the denominator, x plus five? What are we supposed to put in the place of x plus five? Again, according to the chart that we made here, x plus five gets replaced with the variable u. Since it was on the denominator, the x was 5, we're going to put the u on the denominator over here. So let me write this without all the colors. This is just the antiderivative of du divided by u. And by the way, that is actually a formula. The antiderivative for du over u is actually, in fact, ln of the absolute value of u plus c. So basically, the du with the antiderivative and the denominator u that whole thing went away and it gave me pretty much all of these things right here and the three is just kind of like they're going for the right and finally we erase the letter u and replace it with the original amount of x's in this problem the u is, re is supposed to replace x plus five so that's what we're going to do we're going to replace it with x plus five put the plus c there and call it a day this is it so to give you a quick recap of what happened in this problem, step number one was look at the three and get it out of the integral because it's a constant, it's not gonna matter, we can do that. Step number two was down here, decide what the u is. Step number three, decide what the du is. Step number four, combine the terms to create your du. Step five, combine the terms x plus five and replace them with the variable u. And what I did from here to there is nothing. I just kind of wrote it without all the colors. And then I said du over u with the antiderivative symbol. All of those get replaced with the ln of u plus c. And finally, last step, step number seven, was replacing the letter u back with x plus five because that's what u stands for in the first place. And that's pretty much the end of the problem.